members, good afternoon. It is the scheduled start time of the House Committee meeting, and we have a call. I call to order the meeting. Before I go to the agenda proper, I would like to remind members that this meeting is conducted wholly remotely. When members participate in the meeting, please keep the video on and show your faces. If members wish to speak, please use the uh, raise hand feature of Zoom to so indicate. When your speaking time limit is about to, to be up, the timer, a timer will be shown on the uh, Zoom screen. And when the uh, time limit is up, then a beeping alert will be sounded to remind members and I will also ask members to stop speaking. Item one on the agenda, confirmation of minutes of meeting. Minutes of the fifth meeting held on the 25th of February, 2022. The minutes have been forwarded to members before the meeting. So far, no members have made any comments on the minutes. Can I invite members to confirm the minutes, please? No objection. Minutes confirmed. Item two on the agenda, matters arising. Report by the chairman on her meeting with the chief secretary for administration. I met with the Chief Secretary on the 28th of February. He expressed gratitude to the President and members of the Legislative Council for proactively and swiftly responding to the request of the Chief Executive and made relevant arrangements. This include the handling of only items of legislative effect um, in a short uh, um, in the near future, and also at the special meeting of the House Finance Committee members will ask no more than 10 written questions each. The Chief Secretary pointed out that uh, there will be perhaps uh, fewer occasions for members to interact with officials at open meetings of the Legislative Council, but uh, officials will keep in close liaison with members, in particular on, our, on their anti-epidemic effort. The uh, Chief Secretary has also indicated that uh, there is a need to build all the community isolation facilities at full speed, and these are emergency facilities, and they are all built uh, to standard. And so the fight, there is no time to lose in the fight against the epidemic. So the administration has to streamline all the various approval and administrative procedures so that the emergency facilities could be built as soon as possible. He hopes uh, members would appreciate uh, why the administration is doing that. And uh, he hopes that members will help the government explain the situation to the public so the public would understand the objective and strategy of the government in fighting the epidemic. Thank you. Mr. Tixi Yoon. Thank you, Madam Chair. Of course, we are at a critical stage in uh, the handling of the epidemic. Yesterday, the Chief Executive announced uh, openly that uh, at the beginning of next week, perhaps Monday, she would um, be announcing a bold step to be taken. And I welcome that because we need to have uh, uh, goals, we need to have strategy, we need to have directions, and we need to have resolve in fighting the epidemic. But can the Chief Secretary come to the House Committee to explain what the government plans to do in the next stage? Now, I'm not trying to waste time uh, or take up the precious time of officials, or rather, if officials could come here to explain the latest strategy to us, then for members of this council and the political parties, then we'll know how we could um, support and work with the government on this. So we are distributing masks every day, but is there anything else we could do in this new action plan? so that uh, the uh, epidemic will be over soon. So I wonder if the Chief Secretary or his uh, colleagues could come to the House Committee and explain the next uh, stage uh, of work to us. So we know, more importantly, that uh, so we know how we could work together with the executive. Uh, of course, members are very much concerned about the government strategy in fighting epidemic. I understand the chief executive is now hosting press conferences personally to explain matters to in reporters. And I've actually asked uh, that uh, the chief secretary or other reference officials would come and uh, have dialogues with um, members of this council. So uh, I, I note your concern. I will see how the interactions between the administration and the legislature would uh, better help uh, the fight against the epidemic. Thank you. Item three on the agenda, business arising from previous council meetings. Before I go to item three, may I remind members 
uh, uh, ask members to note rather that uh, when I uh, invite members to indicate whether a spills committee or subcommittee is to be set up for members who wish to um, suggest a setting up or who wish to join the reference subcommittee, please use the raise hand feature of Zoom to so indicate. And members, please do not cancel the raise hand uh, function. Otherwise, um, uh, staff could not count the, properly the number of persons who want to join the relevant committee. And after the items we dealt with, I'll invite the staff to clear or to cancel all the raised hand uh, beach, um, icons. A. Legal Service Division reports on bills referred to the House Committee in accordance with Rule 54, Bracket 4. One, Employment Amendment Bill 2022. Can I invite the legal advisor to take us through the bill briefly? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. The report is uh, L, paper number LS 12, stroke 2022. This bill seeks to make three major amendments to the employment ordinance. The first one is to stipulate that if an employee has to comply with isolation or quarantine order issued under the cap 599 and therefore is unable to go to work then the days of absence would be counted as sickness days and the employees will have to pay the eligible employees sickness allowance the second amendment is that uh, if employers uh, uh, if employees are required to be isolated or quarantined under cap 599 and then the employees are dismissed and this is considered unreasonable dismissal and uh, employees could claim compensation the third amendment is that uh, if after uh, an employer has made a request uh, but an employee refuses to show proof of vaccination and is dismissed by the employer, then this is not considered as unreasonable dismissal. Um, uh, the third uh, amendment I just mentioned, there is uh, a sunset clause and then the uh, administration will repeal the re reference provisions after the epidemic has ended. As for other amendments, so they will uh, come into operation on the day of Gazetto when the bill is passed into law. The uh, division is still looking at the reference for drafting and legal aspects. Now, because um, this uh, bill introduces changes to employee statutory rights and employment protection, members may wish to form a bills committee to study the bill in detail. Thank you. Members, if you wish to form a bills committee on a bill, please use the raise hand function of Zoom to so indicate. As for members who wish to join the Bills Committee, please also use the um, raise hand feature of Zoom to so indicate. I see Mr. Peter Xu, uh, Mr. Lai Tong Kok, Dr. Wang Yun San, and so on, uh, have um, indicated the wish to form a Bills Committee to join the Bills Committee. I will ask the clerk to make note of that and I will issue notice to members later. Now, if uh, staff members have um, uh, jotted down all the names, please uh, clear the raise hand icons. Two, Revenue Tax Concessions Bill 2022 Legal Advisor, please take us through the bill briefly. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. The report is in paper number LS13 stroke 2022. The bill is to give effect to a proposal in the 2022 to 23 budget in relation to tax concessions that is to give one off reductions of salaries tax under personal emolument and profits tax payable for the year of the assessment 2021-22 by 100% subject to a ceiling of $10,000 in each case if the bill is passed into ordinance then this uh, will come into operation on the date of gazetto the division has um, looked at the drafting and legal aspects and no problems are identified if members agree the bill is ready for resumption of secondary need debate. Thank you. Thank you, legal advisor. Members, if you wish to form a bills committee on the bill, please use the raise hand feature of Zoom to so indicate. So far, no members have made such indications. If there are no members uh, with other views, then the bill is ready for resumption of second reading debate. B Legal Service Division report on subsidiary legislation gazetted on the 4th of March 2022. Legal advisor, please uh, brief us on these items. Yes, our report is in paper number LS 14 stroke 2022. 
the report covers two items of subsidiary legislation. Both have to do with um, giving effect to proposals in the 2022 to 23 budget um, speech in relation to concessions. First, LN25, that's uh, to give um, rates concessions. All domestic tenants are exempted from the payment of rates up to a maximum of $1,500 for each of, of, for the first and second quarters and up to $1,000 for the third and fourth quarters. For non-domestic tenements, for the first two quarters, the exemption amount is up to $5,000 and for the third and fourth quarters is um, uh, a maximum of $2,000. And for LN26 is to reduce the business registration fees and branch registration fees by $2,000 and $73,000 respectively. Two, the two no legal notices will come into operation on 1st of April 2022 with identified no legal and drafting prop issues. So that's all by way of report. Thank you. For LN25 and 26 members, do you wish to form a subcommittee? to consider them. No. Then we'll move on. C, uh, Madam Chair, there's one member, Mr. Tony Chair. Mr. Tony Chair, do you wish to form a subcommittee? Yes, Madam Chair. Well, please note, in accordance with uh, the uh, host rules, if there are fewer than three members who want to uh, form a both a subcommittee, then we cannot form the subcommittee. So I can ask members to click the raise hand function to ask to form and join the subcommittee. So only Mr. Tony Chair. Mr. Chair, I would suggest that you follow up on the reference matters uh, uh, through other channels. If necessary, we could give you assistance. Uh, assist, uh, Appropriate. C, Legal Service Division Report on Subsidiary Legislation Gazetted on the 11th of March 2022. Can I invite the legal advisor to take us through the report briefly, please? Yes, our pay report is in paper number LS 16, stroke 20 to 20, uh, 22. Uh, the, it covers one item, that is LN 27, is to amend schedule a second, the second schedule of the dangerous drugs ordinance, uh, which is uh, the list of hospitals and institutions is to um, update um, the list um, as appropriate. Please refer to paragraph one of the report for the details. The effect of the amendment is that uh, for registered, a registered pharmacist or an approved person, um, sister or matron uh, may possess and supply a dangerous drug in discharging their functions and duties. The uh, LM will come into, come into operation on the 6th of May, 2022. We have not identified any difficulties in relation to the legal drafting aspects. Thank you. Thank you on uh, LN27, stroke 2022 members, who wish to form a subcommittee on the item. If you wish to do so, please uh, use the uh, raise hand feature of Zoom. If not, if I may remind members, for the three items of subsidiary legislation, if you wish to make amendments, the deadline is the 6th of April, the council meeting of the 6th of April. Item number four, business for the council meeting of 23rd of March, 2022 according with the instructions issued prior by the LegCo president, the coming LegCo meeting will only deal with items with legislative effects. A, laying of papers on the table of the council. Report number four slash 2022 of the House Committee on Consideration of Subsidiary Legislation and Other Instruments. The report carries four pieces of subsidiary legislation, the period for amendment of which will expire at the council meeting that day. No members indicated that they would like to speak on such subsidiary legislation. B, bill, first reading and second reading. Temporary protection measures for business tenants, COVID-19 pandemic bill. The House Committee will deal with the above bill next Wednesday, which is March the 25th. Item number five, business for the council meeting of the 30th of March, 2022. 
government motion. Proposed resolution under the road traffic ordinance to be moved by the Secretary for Transport and Housing. I now invite the legal advisor to walk us through the proposed resolution. Chairman. The, um, the LSC report is carried in LS 15 2022, and um, the resolution seeks to further extend the effective period of the current limit on the number of registered public light buses for five years until the 20th of June 2027. In September 2021, the Transport Department consulted the local public transport trade on whether the existing PLB cap should be retained and the trade largely agreed. And in February, an information paper was sent to the panel on transport. And the paper was noted at the panel meeting held on the 15th of February. No difficulties were identified in the legal and drafting aspects of the proposed resolution. Thank you very much. Mr. Frankie Yik raised his hand, and also Dr. Tik Chi Yun. Mr. Frankie Yik, please. Chairman, the Secretariat issued an updated version to the report today. When the report was issued, um, the Secretariat did not um, receive my request to discuss the item at the panel on transport. I wanted the government to review the roles of public light buses and the support measures as soon as possible, but um, owing to the pandemic, the tr transport panel meeting in March was canceled. However, there is a time constraint to the meeting and um, it will come into effect on the 21st of June this year, but due to universal um, compulsory testing, um, the exercise might be postponed. That is why um, I called for a discussion on the item on another occasion. And we will be able to raise this item at the council meeting on March the 30th. So members may raise their views then. Do any members request the setting up of a subcommittee on the proposed resolution? If so, please make an indication through the raise hand system, raise hand function in the Zoom system. Mr. Frankie Yick. Mr. Frankie Yick, Mr. Bill Tang, do you request the setting up of a subcommittee? Um, apologies, I, I um, did not quite catch that. I do not request the setting up of a subcommittee. Mr. Bill Tang, do you request the setting up of a subcommittee? I hope an SC should be set up um, to follow up on this issue. We need at least three members um, before a subcommittee could be set up or else uh, members can follow up on the issue on other occasions. I see no other indications. If so, um, could Mr. Tang and other members who are interested in the issue, please follow up on other occasions. At the council meeting on March the 30th, the administration will move the proposed resolution. I saw Dr. Tixi Yun raise his hand. Would you like to speak? And also Dr. Junior So. I did not raise my hand. Dr. Junior So, did you raise your hand? Item number six, position on bills, committees, and subcommittees. As of March 17th, um, which was a Thursday, one bills committee was in action and two subcommittees under the House Committee, including one subcommittee on subsidiary legislation and one subcommittee on other council business were in action. Dr. Junior So, would you like to speak? Um, I support the 
um, proposal from Mr. Frankie Yek to set up a subcommittee. Um, less than three members requested the setting up of a subcommittee, so members who would like to follow on the issue can do so at the panel on transport and communicate with the government officials. Any other business? Dr. Junius Ho. Any other business? If there's no further business, the meeting's adjourned. Chairman. Um, sorry, I um, could not unmute myself. You asked whether uh, members supported the setting up of a subcommittee together with Mr. Frankie Yek, so I raised my hand. So together with other members, I believe we had three. Mr. Frankie Yek, um, I'd like to confirm whether you intended to set up a subcommittee. Um, correct, I, did, I didn't request the setting up of a subcommittee. Um, as the chairman of the panel on transport, Mr. Frankie Yek said that the exercise um, had time constraints as such, he did not propose a setting up of an SE. Since there were less than three members, I suggest members can follow up at the panel or work directly with officials. There's no any other business today, the meeting's adjourned.